So, hello everybody, my name is Daniel Silasco and together with Bernhard Rieke I wrote a little bit provocatively either give me a reason to stand or an opportunity to sit in VR. Let's directly dive into it. Hey honey, I'm home. Hey. Why are you sitting on the ground? Phew, that's a long story. Where should I start? Oh, I could believe VR will be an online event. That's cool. Oh, that's pretty exhausting. Let's have a seat. I know it's there. Whoa, what's that? Hmm, I can't see anything. Damn Guardian. Okay. No, that's that's not the way. Let's see. I'll have a seat. Oh. So Bob did not want to stand for long episodes when it's not involving. However, there was neither a seat in the tracking space nor a possibility to register tracking space as seatable. If asking users for to stand Give them a good reason for standing. Let them walk and if that's not feasible, get them involved. Use methods utilizing their lower body parts or tasks that utilize their extended reach and mobility. Do not confuse standing with walking when deciding about the user's real world posture. Additionally, it's at least questionable if virtual travel feels more natural in a standing posture than a seated one. If walking is not feasible at all, Consider a seated posture instead, especially for longer experiences. Huh. This time I'm a smart ass. Put a chair into my trekking space. Woo -woo. Let's see. Let's go for this bond. Oh man. Fucking excited. How do I. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. That was. Oh, oh, I need it. I need it. My hand. That's it. Ah! Bob put a chair in his tracking space because he wants to sit. However, the chair was not registered by the system, he forgot its position and you saw what happened. When there are potential downtimes or at least few, a few seated activities, allow for seamless, understandable, safe and bidirectional transitions between sitting and standing. Consider also that the users might come out of another context, for example a home screen requiring another posture, into your application. How can you provide a, su a suitable transition? Wherever possible, design independently of the posture or at least for both postures and, that and let the users decide. Users might have reasons to choose one over the other that we cannot anticipate, including physical ability, prior activities or simply preference. Especially the last point is hard to achieve. However, however, there is research on including, reacting and utilizing the physical space around us. But it has to be used by VR developers on the one side and be brought closer to, use, to be usable outside of the lab on the other. To conclude, spread the word and help Bob. <laughs>